Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I want to show you how you can add a custom map to your Lyra starter game. It's really easy to do and you can create all sorts of different maps. You can use some of the procedural blockout tools as well to block out whatever type of level you want. And then I will show you how to add that custom level that you created to your main menu so that you can select it when you hit play. Now, I'm not going to cover over how to make custom game modes in this particular video, but just know that that video is coming, so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button with the notification bell on if you want to see more Lyra tutorials. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Alright, so first of all, open up your content drawer here, and you're going to have to scroll down until you see here the plugins and engine folder. Now, if you don't see these two folders at the very bottom here, you might want to hit the settings on your content drawer. Make sure you check show engine content and show plugin content. Okay, that will allow you to see the plugins folder, which actually holds all of the Lyra maps and content. So now that we have the plugins folder here, we can go into shooter core content. And this is where all of the game files are located. So you can find things like weapons, items, and over here you're going to see maps, and you see the shooter gym. So I have it loaded up here. It's just a quick demo level where you can test around some of the different item pickups. But what we're interested in is we want to actually create a brand new level. So in our maps, we can go over here and do file, new level. We're just going to select the open world template and now we can go ahead and start building out our game. So very first thing that you want to do is file save current level as and then you want to go ahead and find the plugins, shooter core content and go over to maps and here we can just name this test map like so. Now and the reason why you want to save it to the plugins folder is there's actually a few bugs that I've experienced when creating a new map and I'll show you some of those here in a second but let's just go ahead and continue on so now that we've saved our level here there are a few other things that you have to do that are required to set this up so the very first thing is you want to go to your world settings now if you don't have your world settings window you want to open up window and go to the world settings and this will pop open this little window here. Now under the world settings here we have this default gameplay experience. So this is like our game mode. So for example the two different game modes in the Lyra uh, game are the control points, you know where you capture different control points and elimination. So you can choose between these two uh, different game modes. Like I said I'll make a future tutorial to show you how to create more different game modes maybe like a capture the flag or maybe even a battle royale one that might be a little bit more difficult but for now we're just going to choose some of the existing ones so we can choose the elimination default experience and now we can actually hit play and you're gonna see that we can load in with our character now one thing you might notice is that the bots aren't spawning in and that's because we need to do a couple more things to prepare this level to be actually playable. So if we go ahead and exit out here, uh, there are a couple of different errors here because like I said, we need to set this level up. So the very first thing that you want to do is go to this cube plus icon, go down to volumes and add a nav mesh bounds volume. So this will allow the AI, if we scale this up, so hit R, R on your keyboard, go ahead and scale this up like so. If you hit P on your keyboard you can see um, the green area is where the AI are going to uh, be able to run around basically. Once we've added this little nav mesh bounds volume this will actually allow the AI to roam around this area. And before we hit play we want to add in some of the spawn points. So adding spawn points is really simple you just go to the Q plus button go to all classes and search for Lyra and you're going to see here we have a Lyra player start. So these are the player starts. And we want to drag this up a little bit. And if we rotate this like so, we can go ahead and duplicate this a couple times. So the, these will be our uh, team one. 
spawn points and then we can go ahead and duplicate these and put it over here and just rotate it like so the way it's set up in the game is it'll actually find uh, which spawn points are where and it will randomly assign it to a team so you don't have to do any sort of setup here in the back end okay we can go ahead and hit play now you're going to see the ai spawn in on the other side and we can run around and play our little game now there are a couple of different bugs uh, with this um, like i said i did run into a couple bugs testing this and that is I'm having some issues with the bots uh, freezing sometimes and I'm not entirely sure what the problem might be but if you guys have any suggestions or maybe any thoughts down in the comments see like for example here this is more of extreme case sometimes they don't freeze up this bad I've had this issue whenever I create a new map like so but yeah like I said there's a couple different bugs with this now one way to actually get around this particular bug is if you go to the plugins folder here and just filter by level you're going to see all of the test maps that we get and in fact we have things like our expanse map so you can't really see anything right now and that's because you need to pull up the world partition window if you don't have this window go to window world partition select all the grid cells in there right click and click load cells so this will load the uh, some of the demo maps here that you can mess around with and if you wanted to come in in here and adjust some of these levels you can definitely do that you can you know select different points and modify it and whatnot but like I said there are a couple different issues uh, that I was experiencing with creating a blank map so one way to get around this is to just use one of these template maps and just delete everything delete everything other than this volume and just work on top of this map like I said I couldn't really figure out that one AI bug but nonetheless it is there uh, just be aware that it does exist and I'm still trying to figure that one out now let's just go ahead and duplicate one of these maps and create a map that way uh, like I said you can create a blank map and test that out but there are some bugs so for example let's just go ahead and open up this firing range and this map is a nice little map that has all of the demo assets inside of it and like I said it's already set up and the AI don't bug out or freeze in this particular map so what you could do is right click and duplicate this so let's go ahead and first right click and show in folder view so it's going to show in the shooter content maps we can go ahead and right click I think we actually need to open up a different map to duplicate it so right click duplicate that we can name this our test map right here go ahead and open it save selected and then again we want to select the loaded cells and right click and click load cells you don't really need to use world partition with these small levels but they just do it like I said it's totally up to you maybe just go ahead and select everything in this map and delete it all maybe not our world partition mini map world data levels and then unselect your nav mesh volume okay let's undo our lighting as well so unselect our directional light atmospheric fog sky atmosphere skylight and volumetric fog Okay, so just delete everything else click yes all now we just have a blank map that we can work with so let's go ahead and add a landscape here I think we have to delete the landscape first so go ahead and select the landscape and just click delete now we can go to landscape and click create so you can go out and sculpt sculpt part of this landscape so for example if you wanted to go ahead and add some mountains here whatnot you can customize it like so I'm not really going to go over landscapes and stuff in this video just want to show real quick what you can do to create a map so let's go ahead and scale up our nav mesh volumes like I said you can hit P to see where the bots will be able to move and run around and if you want to you can make this nav mesh the entire size of this map make it really big and let's go ahead and add maybe just some simple structures here uh, so there are some pre-made meshes that you can use so if you go to 
the shooter maps content. This is in your plugins folder, meshes. If you go to expanse, you're going to see some of the different blockout tools and meshes that you can use. Now, these are all procedural as well. So if you wanted to just use the actual procedural tools, uh, we can use the tools here in the Lyra game content folder. But for the sake of this tutorial real quick, we're just going to use some of these uh, pre-made meshes here. Maybe just use some of these simple meshes like so. Um, just to add two different locations for our players to spawn. Then let's go ahead and add our starter points. So go to the Q plus icon there, all classes, and add our start, Lyra player start. Okay, let's make sure that this is facing the right direction. You can tell by the blue arrow. Go ahead and duplicate this a couple times. Control select those, alt drag, and duplicate those off like so. All right. Go ahead and save that. Now in our world settings, we can go ahead and see our default gameplay experience, B shooter. Uh, we can go ahead and hit play here. So now we have our AI, we can run around. And like I said, I tested creating a new map and that was the only issue that I had with the AI freezing. All right, so we got our level here and we can start adding in various different weapon spawners and things like that by going into your plugins, shooter core content, blueprint. And here are some of the different things that you can add in. So we can add in a weapon spawner right over here. And we just want to actually pull this above the mesh like so. And to assign an actual weapon to it, you want to go into the details panel and scroll down here until you see the Lyra weapon pickup. If we expand that, we can choose our weapon definition here and this is just an asset type so we can select rifle and you can see here that adds a rifle spawn point right here so we can move this in the player spawn we can duplicate this and add a different weapon type like a pistol this over here add a shotgun okay we can go ahead and duplicate these and move it over in our other player spawn point now there are a couple other things we can add and let me just hide that nav mesh volume by hitting P. So there's also these health pickups. So we can add a health pickup here at the very back. And also we have things like these launch pads. If we pull in one of these launch pads over here, you can adjust the settings of the launch pad. So for example, the up override we can set this to 3000 and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like we hit play you can see we can go and pick up our weapons we can do our jump pad here and you see we launched up about 3000 units or whatnot in the air so really cool you can just really quickly um, mess around with all the different pickups and weapon types as well as some of the other launch pads and different blueprint items so you can start building out your custom maps and just messing around with stuff. So a couple other ones in here, we have things like the inventory pad. Now I haven't really tested out some of these other different items. They are still sort of experimental. We have things like the teleportation wall. And I believe the way this thing works is if we duplicate another one, we can see we have this teleporting target. So if we add an array element, it will allow us to pick the teleporting target so for example we can pick that as a target and then in here we can add an array and pick this other one as a target so we should be able to teleport back and forth between these two locations so go in here and there we go we're on this side and there we go we're on that side so really easy to just drag and drop some of these different elements inside your game. And like I said, you can go into the world settings and switch out the game mode if you want the control points, the elimination game mode. And you can see here we also have a control point volume. So you would add this to wherever you wanted to add a control point. So we'll go ahead and choose the control points game mode. Let's duplicate this three different times so we have three control points. 
maybe a fourth time. I don't really think you can have more than four control points. Well, I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, yeah, so we can only have A, B, and C. So let's go ahead and just stop this and delete one of these. And I'm not entirely sure how you assign uh, which control point to be which. I'm assuming it's going to be A, B, and C, determined by the order of the volumes. So, for example, volume 1, and then volume 2, and volume 3 is going to be A, B, and C. So really quickly, that's how you can create a brand new level. Now, to actually add this in as a playable level to your main menu, so for example, if I or actually quit game here, it's going to pull up the main menu for the game. If we hit play library, you can see we can start a game. And you're going to see here we have the three different maps. So you want to add in your own custom map, for example, into this uh, window here. And I can show you how to do that as well. You want to open up your content browser, and we're going to go to the location where you can modify that. So if you go into plugins and shooter maps content, we're going to go to the playlist folder, which I believe is inside system. So system, playlists, and we're going to see here this data asset expanse and data asset control point. If you actually open one of these up, and snap this to the window. You're going to see this is where you can choose the different map. So what you want to do is go ahead and duplicate this. And we could name this data asset our test map. And with this open, we can choose the test map that we have. So our test map. And the default experience, we can change this to control points. And you can see you can change the title of the map or mode or whatnot. Like I said, we're just using the same mode. Um, so in this case, we can change this to control points. And you know, in the future, you can change this to a different mode if you do have a different game mode. For the map, we can change this to our test map. For your UI, what we can do is go ahead and just take a snip of our little level here and maybe file save this and then just drag and drop that image into our project file here. Uh, like I said, really quick and dirty, but you can go ahead and select that and apply it there. These two options are important. Show in front end, you want to make sure, check that right there. Is default experience. If true, this default experience that should be used for quick play and given priority in the UI. So I'm guessing if you're be part of the quick play options, not really entirely sure about that. But the show in the front end, this will make it so that it appears in the list. Okay, down here we have a max player count, so you could increase this up to 100 or whatever. I don't th really think that you can go more than 100. We can just leave this as maybe like 40. And then the loading screen widget, if you hit this little browse icon, you can see here what the loading screen looks like. And likewise, you can come in here and duplicate this and add your own image, your own custom loading screen if you wanted to. So now we can save that and we should be able to play this if I have done everything correctly. So we go ahead and quit game and go to our main menu here. We should be able to scroll and see actually our control points, our test map right here. So then if we click on it, we can play our custom test map. So yeah, that's really quickly how you can add a custom map to your Lyra game. You can see these bots are trying to claim the control points now. And like I said, um, if you guys figure out what the issue is with the bots freezing, definitely let me know in the comments down below and I'll pin the message because I have been having those issues and those bugs with this project. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the t quick tutorial and make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell for more future Lyra tutorials. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one.